In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the similarities between the Irish language and Portuguese. Now, needless to say, these are two very different languages. They have evolved differently over time. But having said that, I'm sure you're going to find some of the things they have in common interesting, to say the least. So one of the first things I noticed when I was researching for this video was that neither Irish nor Portuguese use the letters K, W, X or Y in their respective alphabets. But the parallels don't just end there. If we take a look at the word Portugal itself, for example, this is thought to come from two words, Portus and Calais. So if we start with Calais first, this came about from ancient early Celtic settlers that built a settlement around the mouth of the Douro River in modern day Portugal. These early settlers were said to have called this place Calais. This was an ancient Proto-Celtic word for a fort or a harbour. In fact, Calafort is a modern Irish word for harbour or port. Calafort. Later on, when the Romans took over, they brought the name Portus to the equation, and over time, Portus and Calais came together to form the name of the modern day country that we call Portugal. So let's move on now and compare some Irish and Portuguese words so we can look at their similarities. And as usual, let's start with some numbers. So if we take these numbers here, one to 10, you'll notice that there are quite a few similarities there. In fact, they're all fairly similar to some extent with the possible exception of the number five. Let's go down to the Irish ones first. A hen, a doe, a tree, a cahar, a cúig, a shé, a shocht, a hocht, a nae, a de. Now, let's try the Portuguese ones. So number one, um, um. Number two, dois, dois. Number three, tres, tres. Number four, quatro, quatro. Number five, cinco, cinco. Number six, seis, seis. Number seven, sete, sete. Eight is oito, oito. Nine, nove, nove. And ten, des, des. Let's look at a few more numbers now, 20, 100, and 1,000, and you'll see some interesting parallels here. So in Irish, 20 is fihe, fihe. And then in Portuguese, vinte, vinte. 100 then in Irish is caid, caid. In Portuguese, same, same. 1,000 then is mila. Mila in Irish, uh, like a hundred thousand welcomes. Cade Mila Folge. So Mila is the Irish word for a thousand, and then in Portuguese it's quite similar. Mew, Mew. Let's move on to some words here now. So we're going to start start with this one here, uh, tomorrow. So let's look at the Irish and Portuguese words for tomorrow. So in Irish, a morach. A morach is the Irish for tomorrow. In Portuguese, a munho, a munho. Cold is next. In Irish, cold is four, four. In Portuguese, frio, frio. Let's look at chips now, or French fries as they're sometimes called. So, in um, Portuguese, it's fichas. Fichas, which is very similar to the Irish verb for fry. So that word there, frioch, um, in Irish, frioch, is not the Irish for chips, it's the Irish verb to fry. So it has a certain similarities with the Portuguese word uh, fichas for French fries or chips. The Irish word uh, for chips, incidentally, is scaloga. Scaloga. 
The verb um, in Irish to work is obr, obr, and in Portuguese, obra, obra. A priest in Irish is sogart, sogart, and in Portuguese, sacerdote, sacerdote. In Irish, more is big, more. In Portuguese, the word mohu, mohu, is not necessarily the Portuguese for big or large, but it can mean to swell or enlarge in Portuguese. Mohu, mohu. So a certain similarity there with the Irish word uh, more, which means big. Next then is the Irish uh, verb scrive, which is to write. Scrive, to write. In Portuguese, escriver, escriver. The Irish for whiskey is isca baha, isca baha. And in Portuguese, whisky, whisky. So if you look closely at that Portuguese word for whiskey, whisky, it has an uncanny resemblance to this word here, isca, which is the Irish word for water, isca. Let's move on to a rabbit now. So the Irish for a rabbit is quinine. Quinine. In Portuguese, coelho, coelho. A dog in Irish can be known as a coo, um, which is technically a hound, but it's more or less the same thing. Coo, as in coo Cullen, the hound of Cullen. Coo for a hound. In Portuguese, then, cow, cow. The C in Irish is mwer, mwer. In Portuguese, mar, mar. Which brings us on to the Irish for seafood, which is bia mara, bia mara for seafood. In Portuguese, you'd say frutos do mar, frutos do mar for seafood. The Irish word to sing is con, con. And in Portuguese, Cantor, cantor. A book in Irish is lower, lower. In Portuguese, livro, livro. The morning in Irish is magin, magin. In Portuguese, manha, manha. A boy in Irish can be known as garçom, garçom. In Portuguese. Garotu, garotu. An egg in Irish is ov, ov. In Portuguese, ovo, ovo. And gold in Irish is or, or. In Portuguese, oru, oru. I want to take this opportunity to say a very, very big thank you to my Patreon supporters the names of which you're going to see on screen now on these two pages. These people have been a great source of backup and support to me over the last number of months, and I just want to say that I really appreciate it. Gurv mil mil magwif. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and I'll be back very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Slán tamal.